How's it going, everyone? I'm back again um, for another. Uh, this is basically part two of what happened yesterday for yesterday's podcast. Um, it's basically part two of the short, scary stories. Um, I'm getting everything loaded up now. Um, okay, there we go. There we go. <laughs> I probably should have had this all prepared earlier, but um, I hope you're having a fantastic day. Um, if not, hopefully listening to this will make you feel a bit better. Um, and, yeah, so, um, hopefully your day will get better if you're not. But, anyway, we're going to get right into this. I am super excited to do part two of this. Um, we're starting with, um, n- um, for the two sentence stories, um, we're starting off with, um, we're on page four, um, story 17, um, I'm hope last time we got through three pages, so I'm assuming we'll probably get through that again. But last time also, I did reread some, like to give them read ratings because I forgot to. Um, but then I also kind of like rambled on towards the beginning, like I'm doing now. But I did it for a couple minutes, just explaining, like, just saying basically what happened, like yes or like for it was yesterday's video. Then, um, the other day's video, when I explained, you know, why I hadn't been uploading, um, if you want to see, um, if you want to see more, or listen to, basically, um, if you want to hear more of these podcasts and stuff, or, like, two-sentence horror stories, like, I'm gonna be doing them for October, but if you want to see me do more stuff like this after October, I'm planning on doing, like, a lot on, like, do s- several things on Friday the 13th, which I believe is this Friday. Yes, it is. We're going to have plenty of stuff then. Um, I'm thinking about maybe doing something else. Um, see if I can get some of the guys together. See if we can get something else for Friday the 13th. See if we can do something creepy. Um, but if not, I'll do um, lengthy videos. Um, but anyway, let's get right into this. Um, so this first one, or first one for today, this is number 17, um, by Scuppy. Um, my daughter won't stop crying and screaming in the middle of the night. I visit her grave and ask her to stop, but it doesn't help. Huh. That's a bit different. I haven't heard one like this before. Um, um... Okay, um, I'll give this one creep factor 1.5. We're starting off with 1.5. I accidentally glanced down at the other one because it looks short. It kind of caught my eye for a second. I glanced at it, and I can tell you right now, this is a one. Fluffy Pony Z, I believe that's how you pronounce it. Um, Fluffy Pony Z A is what it is. Um, Day 312. Internet still not working. Um, well, I mean, I had internet problems, but I called them and they fixed it. So, if you have internet problems, don't sit there and hope it gets back on. Just call them. That's how it works. That's how providers work. Anonymous ABC. Oh, there is an underscore between anonymous and ABC. Anonymous underscore ABC. You start to drift off into a comfortable sleep when you hear your name being whispered. You live alone. Um. I mean, I've had, I've like, I've had experience with, experiences with paranormal. I'm not sure if you believe in this or not. But, um, I have had experience with paranormal. So, like, um, if I heard that, I wouldn't be too startled because I've, been through worse um so i think in real life probably a four but for the sake of like reading it and stuff and just imagining it at say 2.5 i was kind of debating on two or three so i'm just going for the middle one which i thought of like towards the end of the video started doing um so it's 2.5 okay this next one, Storyteller Bob. I kiss my wife and daughter goodnight before I go to sleep. When I wake up, I'm in a paddled, or padded room, and the nurses tell me it was just a dream. 
That would be a really creepy scenario. I'd say 6.5. Um, or, no, that's a little high. 5.5. There we go. That's a bit better. Um, I dropped it one. Um, so, I'll give 5.5 um, for in real life. For reading it, these are kind of low. I've kind of explained it in the last video what, like, what I've kind of, like, kind of based on this, like, or kind of what I'm thinking, like, how two sentence really doesn't develop it too much. Um, uh, I'm debating on 1.5 and 2. I'll just go with 2. Again, I mentioned this in the last video, but just in case you didn't hear that, uh, you didn't listen to that uh, one, um... I am not basing this off of how I enjoy it. I like all of these. I'm basing it off of creepiness. So, I, I should start saying creep factor again. That's what I was saying in the last video. Um, okay. This next one's by WaySafe, number 21. I needed to quickly run an SQL command to update a single row in an Oracle database table at work. To my horror, it came back with negative 2,378,231 rows affected. Uh, what's SQL command? Um, QL come, come, I keep hitting the wrong button. Command, there we go. I kept hitting I instead of O. Um, hang on. Um... Oh, it's just a list of stuff. Okay. Whoops, that's not it. Okay. I clicked on the wrong thing. Um, okay. Well. Oh, so that'd be like. Um, I believe that'd be vi like the rose effects. I think that's viruses, which viruses. Um, I've been fortunate to not have had viruses in the pack in the past like you know malware i've had but that's easy to get rid of you just get an anti mal an antivirus software and that'll clear it up right away um i'm very paranoid when it comes to computers and viruses and stuff um i've got like like um like several different antivirus um softwares installed um so that's something i've kind of prepared for so i think if it was like assuming like this is saying work in this scenario so i'm gonna assume i'm i'm gonna switch the scenario like in my scenario it'll be just like if i was here just at my computer like i'm right now and i saw that um um okay well this is oracle database table um but I'm going to just say it's on my computer. If I had a lot of viruses on there. Um, if you have to. I, I'm not sure. I think this is what I'm assuming it's probably going to be. I'm assuming it's going to be expensive. If you get it fixed through the company. I haven't had it happen before. So I don't know how much it is. I'm assuming it's going to be like a high price. So... I think, I don't know, five. I'm going with the middle, middle grounds. Um, five in real life. Um, just reading it, 1.5 or two. I'll just go with two again. Um, uh, what's this? Is this Jesus Mendez? I haven't seen Jesus spelled like this, but I'm assuming that's what it is. H E S U S Mendez spelled M E N D E Z. I'm assuming that's Jesus. I haven't seen Jesus spelled like that. I've seen it like the I've I've known a few people named Jesus, but they've always spelled it J E S U S. Um, so I'm gonna assume that's Jesus. I'm not entirely sure. I don't really know names. Um, but anyway, it says you're in la you're laying in bed when you feel your feet dangling out of the covers. Uh. Or, and with your feet dangling out of the covers. You feel a hand grab your feet. I feel like this should have... Again, it's coming back to, like, 
the fact that like there's um not really much like it'd be um oh i just i accidentally glanced at one of the bottom ones this is gonna make me laugh um but um okay so i think um being in this scenario i'd say two or not two um 1.5 or two like reading it um creep factor 1.5 or two in real life i'd say uh four i i don't get scared easily um don't watch the don't watch the seller that video don't do it don't do it don't do it um Oh, something I forgot to mention towards the beginning of the video is, um, or the podcast. I keep calling it, but it's both. It's both. It's a pod video. A video cast or some. I don't know. I'm trying to think of something. Um, but anyway, I should have mentioned this towards the beginning. Um, but like when I was getting like, or when I was looking, like when I was adding these to a playlist, because I'm going to start doing these more often, I'm creating a new playlist for them. Um, I briefly list. I let it. I let two play a little bit. Um, if you don't know how much, like putting like the stuff behind me, like I've just got a couple of blankets behind me. Um, if you don't know how much that dampens echo, go back to two. That was horrible. I couldn't stand it very much. Um, I don't like Echo. Okay, but anyway, back to this. Number 23. TLF Mod. I'm assuming that's how you pronounce it. Maybe it's Tolf Mod. Who knows? Or maybe it's all supposed to be read out. The TLF M-O-D. Maybe it's supposed to be pronounced like that. Who knows? Only the person. Um, but anyway... The funeral attendees never came out of the catacombs. Something locked the crypt door from the inside. Okay. Um. In this scenario, this would be pretty damn high. 6.5 in real life. Or 6. 6 in real life. Because you could just call someone or something. And if you can't get it open, you know what it means. You can't get a door open, smash through it. <laughs> uh, but, um, okay, six in real life. Um, that's actually higher than what I rated for the foot grabbing thing. Um, but, anyway, six in real life. Um, I've had dreams. Like that in the past where I'll get locked in a room and I can't find my way out and stuff. I've had dreams like that in the past. Um, not l recently. It was just when I was little I used to have a lot of dreams like that. Um, but anyway, back to this. Six in real life. Um, reading it, two. Um, a lot of these, um, they're not getting as high a rating like for reading sake. But that's because... I don't know. What would you kind of rate some of these? You can put them in the comments if you want. Um, uh, 24, the D string. Or the underscore D underscore string. The D string, I'm just going to say. My wife woke me up last night to tell me there was an intruder in our house. She was murdered by an intruder two years ago. Odd. Five in real life. Or, now four in real life. Uh, a lot of these are kind of getting to, like, a cliche point. So I'd, I'd say, for the sake of reading, since I've read so many of these and you see so many of them around, uh, one. Amorth is the next one for 25. I believe it's Amorth. It's A-M-M-O-R-T-H. Um, Misa called Jar Jar Binks. Misa, your humble servant. <laughs> I 
I don't mind Jar Jar, actually. A lot of people are surprised by this, but I don't... I have high tolerance to things. So, he didn't... He never really bothered me in The Phantom Menace. Or I suppose he was in other movies, too, but... The one he's most well-known for is Phantom Menace. Oh, I, ju I was just checking the time. Only 15 minutes. Um, about 15.30, getting close to it. Um... Okay, we might be able to get through a lot more. This is the third page I've gone through. I'm on page six right now. We started on four. We did four, five, and six. And we're on six now. So we're almost on our third. So we might be able to get through another page. Um, um, Vigrid Arena? Vigrid Arena? That sounds a lot better. V i g r i d a r e n a. No capital letters, but it's for number twenty six. I was having a pleasant dream when what sounded like hammering woke me. After that, I could barely hear the muffled sound of dirt covering the coffin over my own screams. So, um, this is kind of the buried alive scenario, um, or maybe it's like the one from yesterday where, um, like they, like where it was like how they wanted, they, if they knew it was going to be that, like they would have been cremated. Um, I'm going to assume you're getting buried alive in this scenario as opposed to like the one from yesterday. So. In real life, considering GPS is not, like, GPS can be off quite a bit, and getting help would be difficult, um, so, well, that's assuming if you have your phone with you, and your phone is charged, um, so, in real life, this would be high, 9, you know what, real life, 9, or 8.5, 9, 9. I'm doing nine. Real life, nine. But for reading, 1.5. It's pretty good. Again, this is not like... Just because I give it a low creep factor rating, it doesn't mean I don't like it. I'm enjoying these. That's why I'm doing a part two. Uh, as I believe I mentioned. Um, I'm assuming... I'm ass assuming... I'm assuming this is supposed to be short for scary67. S-C-R-Y-6-7. Um, so... The last man on Earth sat alone in a room. There was a knock at the door. Huh. Said the last man on, on Earth. Maybe it's a woman. No, oh, just kidding. That's just a stupid joke that came out of... My face hole, also known as a mouth. Um, but, um, in real life, I think it wouldn't be too scary of a scenario because you'd be like, oh, wait, there's someone else on Earth. There's someone alive. Uh, well, assuming this is like post apocalyptic, Jesus, stutter, um, post apocalyptic, um, and not like way in the future, like a hundred, like, like, hundreds of years in the future where um people have like left earth and stuff and you're just kind of like visiting or you remained there and didn't like go um colonize another planet or go to another colony or like a space base or something like that i'm assuming it's going to be a post-apocalyptic um so i believe you'd be like more excited than anything so, I don't, it'd be a low, real life one, um, rating two. Well, I mean, I, I give it a one, but, uh, zero's not in the rating scale. I believe the lowest is one. Unless I rated something 0. 0.5 in the last video. I don't think I did. Um, but, um, I, I, I really enjoyed, I, I like the idea of this. 
I like post-apocalyptic things. So I think I'd probably be... I'd like to see like an extended version. <laughs> I've mentioned this for a couple of them, I think. Um, that I'd like... To, I, I would love to see it made into like a short story. Um, thinking like post-apocalyptic or even... Or more likely sci-fi, like people left Earth. That'd be like... um, What's his name? Bradbury, if you've ever heard of him, if you haven't, look, you should look up his stuff. He does, er, he did amazing science fiction stuff. I believe it was in the fifties. Actually, I can look it up right now. Um. Uh. Okay. Um. This doesn't say like when his stuff was. Um, mostly written, like, or, like, when his stuff was written. Um, but, born 1920, died 2012. Um, uh, I'll, I'll read off these, um, uh, the three, like, that are, like, right off the front, because I, I think these are pretty popular, and you'll kind of know them. Like, these three that are popping up right now, they're, like, well, I believe they're, well, oh, no, no, oh, just looking at this, yeah, they look to be, like, around, like, 50s, and there's one for the 60s, but anyway, um, these ones are popular ones, A Sound of Thunder, The Velt, All Summer in a Day, All Summer of the Day, I remember I read that in middle school, back in middle school. Um, I believe it was middle school. Maybe it was later. Um, Ray, ba Ray Bradbury. Um, he did some amazing stuff. So let's go back to the short stories, or two sentence stories. Okay. But back to what we started off this video. I get so, I have a very short attention, attendant, attention span, not attendance span. Um, this one's by Cobalt Collapse. Here's one I can read. This is number 28. After working a hard day, I came home to see my girlfriend cradling our child. I didn't know which was more frightening, seeing my dead girlfriend and stillborn child, or knowing that someone broke into my apartment to place them there. Huh... Real life six point or er, real life six. For the sake of reading it too. These aren't creeping me out at all. I feel like reading these off in like a creepier location would help. Ooh. Maybe that's something I can do for a video. I can go to a creepy location like a cemetery or something. For October. Okay. Um. Okay. Okay. Number twenty nine. Okay. I, I I need the second. I couldn't remember where I was. Um. Okay. Comparatively sane. Number twenty nine. You hear your mom calling to you in the calling you into the kitchen. As you are heading down the stairs, you hear a whisper from the closet saying, "Don't go down there, honey." I heard it too. That'd be creepy. Six. My voice. I need some water or something. My voice is not working properly. And I keep switching between random and weird voices. And that's what makes my voice crack so much. And my throat gets dry and stuff like that. I should really... I should have really thought this through and had water on standby. But anyway, I hate. I hate isn't I like the I like you see with E Y E H A T E. Number 30. I was stoned and Taco Bell was closed. Actually, I'm a Taco John's guy, so, nah, not really scary. 
One for the sake of reading, and in real life, one, too. Like, one also for that one. Um, okay. What are we at for time? I need to start being a little bit louder. I keep going down here into a more natural tone. But that is not a good idea. Considering it's harder for the mic to pick up. But it sounds cool, so I'm going to keep doing it. Number 31. Genetically witless. I never go to sleep, but I keep waking up. How the hell does that work? I'm not going to rate this one... For reading one, real life, if you keep waking up but never going to sleep, no, that's trippy. Number 32, I choked, cherry it unt, what does that mean? I C-H-O-K-E-D-C-H-E-R-Y-I-T-U-N-T. I'm assuming it's supposed to be, I choked on a, on a cherry, and it hurt. I'm assuming that's what it's supposed to be, but I don't know. I don't know. I didn't make this account. Nurse's note. Born. 7 pounds, 10 ounces, 18 inches long. 32 fully formed teeth. Silent. Always smiling. I thought for a second this was more than one sentence. And so I'm like, oh, this is a DQ for sure. DQ is in disqualified, not Dairy Queen. Although some Dairy Queen would be good right now. Um... Silent, always smiling. What is this even talking about? Um, I don't know what it's talking about. Reading, it's like one that I don't even know. That's two that I have not rated for in real life. I'm assuming this next one is Aaron. I have never seen Aaron spelled like this before. A E R R O. In. I've always seen it A A R O N or R R O N. It's always been A A instead of A E. But I'm assuming it's still Aaron. Number 33. She went upstairs to check on her sleeping toddler. The window was open and the bed was empty. In real life, this would be about a nine. Because that's like... If I had a kid, I think that'd be my biggest fear, to just find... Um... Just find, like, the kid missing. That'd be, like, my biggest fear. But, anyway... Did I rate it for reading? Two... You know what, I'm going to stop rating, like, fear based on reading because that's not really accurate considering these aren't, like, scaring me. I'm not terrified right now because I'm just, like, in my recording space. Although it is terrifyingly unorganized. (laughs) But anyway, number 34, Black Magic. I'm assuming that's how it's supposed to be. I mean... B-L-A-Q-K-M-A-G-I-C-K. That's not how you spell magic. It does not have a K at the end. The longer I wore it, the more it grew on me. She had pretty skin. What? So I'm assuming I'm wearing someone else's skin, so am am I like, um... Am I a Slitheen? A Slitheen? From Doctor Who? I believe I made a Doctor Who rest- re- I believe I made a Doctor Who reference in the last one. 
Interesting. Okay, you know. Um, I'm assuming I'm a Slitheen then, or a creepy demon, but I'm gonna, but my nerdy instincts go for Slitheen. Um, so I'm assuming I'm a Slitheen, in which case I'm an alien. In which, well, I mean, since you're just wearing the skin and stuff and it's growing on you, I'm assuming that's kind of normal for you. Well, I mean, it's abnormal for us, but I'm assuming if you're, like, putting on skin, I'm assuming it's kind of normal for you in, like, in the Slitheen scenario or demon scenario. If it was a normal person, there would be something wrong with them. They would be insane. I have no idea why I keep trailing off like that, but it's okay. Um, I'm assuming it's going to be like that. So, in which case, if you're a demon or if you're an alien, this would be kind of normal for you. But if it's just a normal person, they must be insane. They must be insane. Not there must be insane. I don't know why my voice did that. But anyway, the next one, Vault Kid 321. Number 35. Um. Oh, just for a note, I kind of looked at the time. This is going to be a lot. Like, there's this one, then there's another one. That's going to be it. We're going to be ending off at page 7. We're going to do 8 and 9 next time. But anyway, Vault Kid 321 says, I can't sleep, she whispered, crawling into the bed with me. Into bed with me, not into the bed. Um, I, woke, I woke up cold, clutching the dress she was Buried in. <sighs> the cliches. Of oh, the cliches. Two. I'm just gonna rating him now. At this point. Creep. Fa I'm going back to creep factor. For that one creep factor two. Or you know. That's that's one. One. It's kind of. Cl it's quite cliche. I'm not even gonna. Bother, you know what? The Kimo is or the Kimino. Day, not day. D key. Nope, not D key either. D K M I N O. That's what I meant to say. Number thirty six. You hear the scream across the hallway, but your eyes won't open, and you can't move. That's one sentence disqualified. I really hope that wasn't so loud, too loud. Um, uh, that was too. That was one sentence. So disqualified. Um, that's gonna be it for these stories now. Um, I hope you enjoyed listening. I very much enjoy recording these. Um, and so. I think that's going to be it for this podcast, so I hope you enjoyed, and thank you so much for listening. Um, I hope you have a fantastic day, and I will see you. Oh, be sure to share and subscribe for daily uploads, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.